Dragon Ball Xenoverse was a pretty good game for Dragon Ball games to revive it from the plain stale just running over the Dragon Ball Z arcs from Saiyan Saga to Buu Saga. Hey guys, Alpha Keyblade here and I'm going to be talking about some things that I would like to see included in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and how it can make the game better. First of all guys, my biggest complaint is that the only race that has any transformations is Super Saiyan. Yeah, I can understand humans not having a transformation because, I mean, you know, it's just humans. Then again guys, I would love to see your Arcosian, that's what Frieza's race are called if you, anyone doesn't know, but I'd love to be able to see your Arcosians go from first form, final form, and possibly let us have a golden form of some sort. Secondly, I'd love to see the Majin Boos start out like they do. Fat Boo, Super Boo, Kid Boo, and everything like that. You never know. And like, uh, hopefully be able to get the ability to s absorb some characters while fighting in the game. Uh, and I mean, it, it's just like so annoying how it's like, okay, yeah, here you go. He's an Arcosian. You should be able to transform. Nope, your armor just makes you look like you transformed. It was like, what kind of BS bullshit is that? Like... I'm not trashing on the game or anything, but it just seemed like they were so lazy and like, yeah, I get that Saiyans are obviously the most popular characters, but why give only Saiyans transformations? Coming back to transformations, Saiyan transformations in the game were lazy as hell. It's just a regular hair you picked for your character, but golden and your eyes turn blue. And it was even lazier for Super Saiyan 2. The same thing again, but was just added electricity. Your hair didn't stand up or go in any different directions like it does for Goku, Gohan, Vegeta stayed the same for some reason, or like with Trunks. It just looked flat out lazy. I also hope that within this game we get the maximum level for me being Super Saiyan 4. I know a lot of people don't like GT, but wouldn't it be awesome to have your own custom character be able to reach Super Saiyan 4 or 3 at least and have them look somewhat unique because we can't deny it, Super Saiyan 4 looks extremely badass and intimidating. It looks more godlike than Super Saiyan God, that's just my honest opinion. Secondly, I would love to have the story arc include somewhat of Dragon Ball Super as Dragon Ball Super is out now. They could do so much. Here's one theory that I've been thinking about. So because the end of Dragon Ball Super ends with the anime cutscene where Beerus and we show up and Beerus says, looks like we didn't have to do anything at all where they can handle themselves. Then it cuts to Mira's brain or whatever it was hanging on the floor and then Toa says to him, my poor Mira, we'll make you again, I'll make you better because you are my greatest project. What if then it goes to the Universe 6 tournament and Hit is fighting Goku and Goku is losing energy from the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 and that he's running out and then just when Hit is almost about beat, Toa adds dark magic to Hit and you have to fend off for Goku. That would be a really, really amazing story arc. Or what if when the Black Goku saga is done, you have to go and do this. Trunks comes back and then he tells Vegeta, the reason why I'm wearing this scarf is that it's mom's scarf, dad, and this Goku in my timeline who's been brought back to life has killed mom. So think about how that would impact Vegeta because when Beerus slapped Bulma, Vegeta went past freaking Kakarot in power just he surpassed him with it and that so think of what it would do for him just like think about the amount of rage and fury that would be put inside Vegeta if he found out about that would it give him Super Saiyan 3 definitely not because I I, I think as many people should already know that Toriyama hates Vegeta and I doubt he's ever going to give him Super Saiyan 3 and what would be the point of him having it now because it's it's Super Saiyan Blue is stronger than it, and when would he ever need to use it? Then again, guys, think about what if Vegeta got his own unique form or something like that. That would be pretty impressive. What if this Black Goku has said to him, Oh, I've only got this form because I'm evil, and you can only acquire it when you're evil. And then Vegeta smiles at him, and he's like, Haha, well, the thing you don't know about me, buddy, is that I still have plenty of darkness in my heart, and Vegeta gets the form. Something new for Vegeta to fend off against this guy and Vegeta getting the spotlight beating Black Goku. Imagine having that scenario in Dragon Ball Super story arc for Xenoverse. That would be a pretty amazing story arc and you just have to help Vegeta. 
I would also like it where you can customize your outfits more. Like let's say that you want to turn the Beerus pants red. Let's say you want to turn Gogeta's armor into, instead of being black, you want to have it green and orange. You want to have it green and red. You want to have uh, your Saiyan armor be black and red. You want to have your Saiyan armor black and blue. You want to have it black and purple white and purple, white and green, white and red, you know, just be able to color customize all of the outfits instead of just the plain ones that you get for customization. I would also love it to have more hairstyles because when you create a character with long Saiyan hair it has to be Yamcha hair. Who the hell wants Yamcha hair? That's like giving a kid freaking nails to play with for Christmas. Jokes intended. But in all seriousness, like, I, I just want to have more customizables for my character. My other thing was going to be that, you know, I would love the hub to be more open world where the home hub is, but it turns out that you've already got a more open world, or at least it looks it's more open world, right? Then again, guys, I would love to also have it where if you do get a sword, your character can actually swing it out at free, real, or free will instead of just punching and then having to add a sword attack. I would also have to say that I would love to have more abilities than just turning Super Saiyan and using one final attack. I would love to have it where I can use at least like three final attacks and turn Super Saiyan. Anyways guys, those are some of my demands that I would love to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys, whether you guys agree with me or not. This is Alpha Keyblade and I'm signing out. Peace.